So w what was that one over there? Let me put my eye on him. So yeah, that's the one with the little, little tiny ears. No. So you have the black here, which is 24. 2410. Uh, what we're doing here today, or this weekend, is we're conducting a wild horse and burrow adoption. Uh, there's three things that are going on right now. Is we have some horses that are available for the public. Uh, we also have horses that have already been adopted on the wild horse and burrow online corral. Uh, they have already adopted their horse through the internet and they're here to pick up their horse and then we have what's also we have what's going on is an extreme Mustang makeover competition uh, for youth so we have some youths picking up some horses we have some competitors picking up their horses for the extreme Mustang makeover and it's actually the I think it's the tip challenge for North North Carolina so they're they're, they're gonna be picking up their horses and uh, they'll they'll train them and then they'll put them in 90 days and we'll see what comes out on the other side. Hopefully it's a well-trained horse. We're staying with the two-year-old gellies. Uh, these are all animals that are adoptable. They are considered an adult horse. Um, I work mostly in compliance. Uh, help help make sure that people are taking care of their animals after they adopt them. I have to tell everybody, I'm like, listen, if you want to adopt a wild horse of burrow, please do your research. Do your research. It, it, it you know, it's going to cost you maybe fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a year to ma really maintain a horse. Um, make sure that if you get an adult horse that, that you get six foot panels I mean that is not compromisable these these horses will jump and they will crash gates uh, if they get pressured um, the, for the most the biggest thing is like prepare yourself and your horse for success prepare yourself for success it should not be an impulse decision it should be well thought out and planned and by all means you know you can look us up on the on the internet just type in wild horse and burrow program and they'll give you your local office and you can call us and you can call if you're from the north or you're from out west you can call your state you can call your state representatives but yeah just prepare yourself for for a journey because that's what it is um, and they are a commitment you know um, and for people that you know want to participate in the adoption incentive program we really encourage people to take that money that you receive for your horse and reinvest it back into your horse into training. If they have training, they create more than just a monetary value. They create an intrinsic value. And that's what we're really looking for is get horses trained to create the intrinsic value to get people to give them homes and to just get them out to the public. So what's my picture? Keep your feet still or pick up your foot? Oh, 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 oh. And walk away. Why? Because the last time I went to that side of him, he took off on me. This time I was doing all of that when he didn't. Okay. My foundation of trust is up more so than not. And I know nothing about nothing. So whatever you see, I guess I'm supposed to do. It's getting to that point, mm -hmm. to wherever it is you ask him to do. But that's why I was doing it over and over again. He's still weak on that side, on the left side. Mm -hmm. But as weak as he is, is as good as he's getting, you know? Come on. Come on. Come on. Asking hand consequence hand. Beautiful.